next. Hey folks, how we doing? I uh, got a couple things. One of the last shades for this year. It's gonna be just a couple more this year. It's this uh, Kydex sheet for a horizontal carry for a Quark AA tool. Came out pretty sweet. It was a little problem because I didn't know it, this one is a turbo. And uh, when we discussed it, he didn't mention the turbo, so I told him it's no problem because it has pretty much, you know, the, the head is just a little bigger than the body itself. But this is a problem, so I had to do, I told him about it, and I had to do this type of sheet. You know, sticking out in the back. This actually is pretty nice because this can be this way used as a mount for anything else, you know. You can mount it on certain things on your molly gear, whatever, you know. You can fit tech lag, all type of locks and uh, actually might be pretty handy sheet. Sheet. <laughs> so that one came out pretty nice. Also I got the very good idea. I got contacted by customers that I still have to reply. Asking me if I can mount a tech lock for a lower carry than normally, you know. That's one of the downsides of the tech like that. It's kind of limited of uh, of the how high the shit the knife carries on your belt. And uh, and then, I don't know why I never thought of this, but actually it's pretty simple and it can be done probably on a lot of different sheets. You know, normally you see, for example, this one I grab one of my knives. This is the Omniworks Americana, sweet, sweet Bowie knife. Normally you would have a tech lag, I would have a tech lag here, you know, the top of the tech lag would be here. That means all of this, the knife and the handle, would be sticking above my belt. You see that? All of this would be above my belt. This would be about the top of the, top of the belt. But just by drilling simple two holes right here on the side and using Chicago screws, because Chicago screws have that nice and oval shape. Uh, let me see if I have one here so I can show you real quick. Original tech clock comes with this type of sheet, this type of screw. Original tech clock comes with this type of screw, or actually nowadays they have even higher. This edge is even higher, but the uh, Chicago screw, you see, it's nice. And this one is actually wrong, wrong example because this one is nice and rounded. Let me grab a different one. Yeah, here, this is a nice example. This is the this is something what tech like normally comes with. See, it's not so round, it has a pretty high pretty high corn edge some of them have even a higher and this Chicago screw is nice and round you know low profile the whole head that sticks out of there so it should works out but the only thing is you do need the silencers here which I don't have so it still wiggles a little bit but when you use the good uh, thick silencers rubbers rubber silencers it uh, it won't wiggle that much and uh, you will have it nice and tight works out really well doesn't really, you know, you can see it in there. I still have them sticking out a little bit because of those silencers. I cannot uh, uh, tighten them anymore. But if you use the silencers, it will work nice. The blade pretty much clears the both, uh, both screws because the screws are in this portion. Not where the blade goes. You see when you normally put the knife in you pretty much you know clear those screws so only f only what they do is they are touching your handle tiny bit and uh, I don't know me personally doesn't bother me so that's uh, that's actually like I said any any knife all you actually need on the knife sheet to do this even yourself very simple is have at least three quarters of an inch sticking above you know into the handle so three quarters of the inch you need to be you know here and you can do it on any sheet like that. So that's pretty sweet. And you see how much lower I got the tech lag like now. From top being here, top being here. That's like, that's, that's like almost like a, well, the whole three inches drop downwards for the knife, which is pretty sweet. Uh, another thing, got a package from a friend, Thomas Smite. This is for my girlfriend. She doesn't know it yet. I know she doesn't watch my video, so I can actually show it. And this one was done for me. Thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate, really appreciate it, Tom. This will wait here under the Christmas tree. 
and uh, I love it. This uh, blue and uh, ACU camo, I guess it is. Really like this colors and uh, fits perfect. He put a nice buckle. I asked him if he has a buckle. Absolutely love it. He fit. Uh, he hit the uh, length spot on. A uh, little deal alert. You seen my video on a sock sharpener? If you didn't, I'm gonna link it down in the description. I love this little thing. This is, in my opinion, this is the best uh, field sharpener there is, especially for the money and utility of this little thing. Now, go watch a review if you didn't see this. They have them on Amazon for thirteen dollars and couple cents really good buy I bought another one for myself maybe for a contest in the future it's a really good product I definitely recommend checking out the review what I had a couple months back and uh, got that sock mini Aegis. really liking this blade really surprised how light it is I had both so uh, sock flashes before the big one and small one one and two and I like them the blade shape wasn't my taste, but I love the utility of it, how, how light it was. Pretty much everything except the steel. I'm not the biggest fan of the OS 8 steel. But, you know, for the money, I mean, guys, if they would put 154cm on this knife, it would make the knife maybe a couple dollars more, but it would make it so much better, trust me. Uh, Sox OS 8 is a little better than cold steels, but it's still not really anything special. It's uh, it's super light. For example, my favorite EDC knife lately, Mini Griptilian. It's about it's almost the same exact knife in a matter of uh, utility and everything, the weight, size. It's just one eighth of an inch longer, I think this, and that's the handle part. Blade is the same. You know, even the cutting blade is about the same. Just nice little upswept upswept belly. This knife is half an ounce lighter than mini griptilian which is really really sweet it has that sock low carry pocket clip uh, i don't necessarily care for a low rider so much because i actually like to have a little little tab of the knife sticking out so i i have better grab on it when i pull it out which uh, this kind of you know eliminates that but it is more uh, concealed this way also, I wish they would make a pocket clip black. That's the same thing with the flash. They don't. I don't know why. And uh, other than that, I love it. I'm not the biggest fan of assisted knives. I used to like them when I was new to knives. Nowadays, I prefer not to have assisted. I don't know if I'm gonna tinkle with this one and maybe try to remove it. I don't know if it's gonna even work without the tension bar in there. I did have uh, the flashes uh, apart before, but... Uh, never tried it without the assisted opening and it's not a bad thing you know it just kind of the reason why i don't like it because it makes the closing a little harder and uh, if you know your knives if you have that motion in the fingers you can flick your knives you know as fast as with the assisted opening love the lock uh, big plus if you remember flash one flash two flash one the smaller one had that lock here that little square rectangle thing that you had to push back and forth to unlock it. Uh, I definitely prefer this arch, arc lock, I think they call it, on the bigger flash. And they did the same thing here. Uh, I think same thing as the big uh, Aegis. And I absolutely love this one. It, uh, you know, it feels just like the axis lock, except that you have to actually push the blade in. But the way you move it, it feels just like the axis lock, you know. And uh, I like that. That's it's very comfortable doesn't hurt your finger and uh, because of the size of this knife it's actually not su such a bad thing to close it even with my small hand you can say I can reach there enough to close that blade and you know push that spring closed it's also very similar in length to my another favorite knife ram of course the weights are like this knife is double the weight of this but the sizes are very similar just for comparison it's almost almost same. All of these knives are one eighth of an inch shorter from a three inch blade. I think the ram has exactly three inch, but grip, mini grip twin and the mini edges, both of them are exactly one eighth of an inch uh, short from three inch. So they probably going for the legality in many states, many cities, and uh, 
really looking forward to using this one. I really hope that I won't be disappointed with the steel because uh, I don't know. I used to used to not care so much because I knew how to sharpen it, but you know, in the end of the day, the less you have to sharpen your knife, the less often you have to sharpen your knife because the steel is good. The more time you save, you know, you can do different stuff. So yes, it is easy to sharpen. Yes, it can get a good edge. But, and yes, it's no problem to resharpen really it every day, but hey, if you don't have to, then why would you, you know? Definitely would prefer better steel on the on knives like this. And for the money, you know, you have, uh, I think, almost $50 for this one I paid, or 45 and uh, 60 $67 with the shipping. I mean, very similar knives, but better steel. Would I pay 10 15 dollars more if this knife had the 154 cm? Definitely, without a doubt, without a doubt. So, hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember don't cut yourself.